Hello, this is Dr. Dan Kahinka. In this video, I am going to discuss how to use Jamobi to, to reveal outliers in your data set, and then we'll briefly discuss what to do with those outliers. This first image that you see over here is a scatter plot. I am not going to discuss this in any great detail. I'll do that in another video. However, I just wanted to show you how you can generate a scatter plot and it will reveal potential outliers. What I prefer to use is the box and whisker plot, or otherwise known as a box plot, to detect outliers. And you will see in a moment why that can be very useful. In Jamovi, to generate a box plot, you select Exploration, Descriptives, then you move the, the uh, variable into right over here in this box, which in this case is the total slat, or the servant leadership assessment tool. Under Plots, we select Box Plot, and then Label Outliers. It will instantly generate the box plot for you, and in this case, we, don't, we do not see any outliers. Well, how would you know that? Well, here's another example where we see a couple of outliers. What is interesting about this is you'll notice here there were no outliers for the total slat, but there's this option right here, split by, which is really a very simple feature where we can slide over a categorical variable, and in this case, it's employment status. So now I divided up the data based on full-time, part-time, or not working. And sure enough, we see two outliers. In this case, they are also labeled, and which is, a, again, a great feature because now what we can do is we have a label here of 20 and one of 34. We can go to our data set, go to row 20, which is our participant number 20, and we'll look at that data to see if we can determine if it's reliable or not. We would not know that for 100%, someone could have guessed, and we would never necessarily know that, but there are ways to identify if it's unreliable data. For instance, if something is reverse coded and everyone, uh, the, the, excuse me, the participant put all sixes, let's say in a Likert scale, they're all the same score. Well, if a one is reverse coded, that would um, probably have been, let's say a one rather than a six, so that's an indicator. Uh, just in general, if they select all the same item, that's probably a good sign that someone just hurried through it. Uh, also, an outlier could be that uh, maybe you missed um, when you did your data screening and cleaning and someone didn't answer a lot of the items. So they got, let's say, a zero, so it was an unusually low score or something of that nature. Uh, in summary, you just want to review over those outliers. You do not automatically exclude those from your study, which some people may um, may tell you that, that you know that's, that's kind of their belief. Uh, it's very possible that those outliers should be kept in there, that they're part of the general population. So I hope this was helpful for you. Again, using box and whisker plot or box plots to detect outliers can be a very effective approach.